Hello, hello. So now we are playing another Pojam game, and this one is called Pokemon's Phantom's Lair. It is by someone called Rick Rick. I've never played one of their games before, so this will be a first for me. Um, and it seems like it's a Gen 2 game, which I am very keen about. This was recommended to me by Kenny. So if I end up hating it, I can just blame Kenny. But <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. So uh, yeah, let's just get started. Pokemon Phantom's Lair is one of the entries of Pokemon 3. There are some Pog assets that are required. These assets were edited to fit the game better. But you can choose the style of assets. I will edited assets. You are a girl. Okay. What's my name? Oh, whenever I play a female version of myself, I would call myself Tonya. Tom, Tonya. It works quite well. The other one I used to go with as a kid for a female version of Tom was Tully. But I think Tonya is much closer to Tom than Tully. So your name is Tonya, is that right? You live in an isolated village, in a time where Pokemon and people were only starting to follow the same path. You study the arts of wielding a Pokemon in battle, something rare for, the for, the for this time, and this skill of yours will be put to the test soon. Good luck. Oh, hello, little Litwick. Oh, hello. <laughs> that, that's nearly word for word what I said. Oh, hello, Litwick. Ready for today? Because I am. Let's go, Litwick. Pokemon Let's Go Litwick, I would be keen. It's you and your parents. Flavor text in a Pokemon game, that's rare. I've heard rumors that the seal in the cave might be weakening. If that's true, who knows what kind of danger could be unleashed upon the village. Tonya's house. As you approach the shrine, you feel a sense of serenity and peace wash over you. Litwick's flame looks to be burning a lot more too. This is really cute. What the hell? <laughs> you know, I've always been a bit wary of Pokemon. They can be quite unpredictable, you know. Like, right off the bat in... Right off the bat in? Right off the bat, the mapping seems quite well done. It's a photograph of a lady quite rare and valuable in this time when high quality photographs are hard to come by. It's a bit weird that some of the flavor text reads from my perspective and not the character's perspective, but as long as the game's somewhat consistent about it, I guess it doesn't matter. I've seen firsthand how these Pokemon can cause chaos and destruction. They should be kept in their place, not treated like pets. Calm down, Boomer. Can I pet your Pokemon, pretty please? Go. Go, Litwick. Let her pet you. Just be careful of your flame. Lit, lit. From my perspective, do you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> because the character would not say that a photograph is quite rare and valuable in this time when high quality photographs are hard to come by. That's something I would say, like me, Tom. This character would not go, oh wow, I guess maybe it makes sense, this is slightly weird. Anyway, it's like super nitpicky. I don't. It's not something that needs to be elaborated on. Lily, Lily. I'm trained to become a Pokemon Wielder, just like you. I want to protect those I love and make a difference in the world. Look at me. I only have a Pokemon, you nerd. But IRS. I'm in Australia, buddy. I don't think I even have an IRS. It's probably some other acronym. It's unclear what it represents, but it's clear that the artist had a vision. <laughs> Maybe I'm reading too much into this, but that is like a very, um, I don't know, interesting thing. Cool looker. <laughs> yeah, looker can come investigate me. I would not mind that. I'll give him some tea and cookies. He can have the rest of my chocolate pickies. Gojo. Okay, let's not go there yet, because that looks important. Pega Pega's farm. Am I correct in guessing that these were an edited version of a Pogberries, maybe? I believe in good old-fashioned hard work and dedication. You don't need a Pokemon to make a living, you just need to put in the effort. Oh no, look you can't have my Tim Tams. Tim Tams are too valuable. Welcome, young wilder. I've been waiting for you. Please follow me. Pika Piku. Right on. Right on these nuts, am I right? 
Training hard is important to become a true master of the art of Pokemon battling. This guide will teach you the basics of Pokemon battle in a few chapters. Okay, I don't think I need to read this. I know how Pokemon battling works. <laughs> Get me out of here. They let us begin today's training with a battle to test your skills. I'll be using my Pikachu today. I hope you're ready. You and your Litwick are ready. We are! Okay, bring it on. Bring it on, like that old 2000s cheerleading movie that I only know because my sisters watch it. Pika Pika! Pikachu uses Thundershock. Lyric uses Ember. With a critical hit. Oh my god. Everything's working well for me. Give me another crit. Ta-da! He actually did get me another crit! All I had to do is ask, and I received. Thank you, Litwick. Impressive, you have a lot of potential. Look, I've played so many games and been so unlucky. So it's only fair... The light is so dark in here. It's only fair that my luck turns around eventually. Impressive, you have a tremendous talent. And that's why I've been training you so much. Tonya, please come here for a second. No, 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 I deserve this, Octavius. I've worked for this double critical hit. You know Pog Dust Cave, right? Yes, it's a cave located on the south side, outside the village. You are correct, but you also know that it is currently sealed, right? Yes, it's been sealed for years now. What's in there is unknown even for those who live in the village. Again, you are correct. And every year, people go in there to check the seal. Do you know why people fear that cave, Tonya? It is said to contain an evil spirit. Isn't that right? Yes, an evil spirit, but also a wild and ferocious Pokemon. A Pokemon? Yes, it is said to live in Pogdust Cave and in ancient times is used to lure people into the cave, only for them to never be seen again. It could not be Spiritomb, but Spiritomb is definitely like the most obvious answer. But I'll, I'll see what it is, not a Psyduck. <laughs> We've had enough Psyduck action today. And then the people decide to seal the cave forever, but last week when we decided to check on the seal again, it started to lose its strength. As to be expected though, the seal is already hundreds of years old. But the other elders of the village don't know what to do. We've been keeping this a secret to avoid causing an alarm, but rumors have already started spreading. There aren't many people who would expect except partnering up with a Pokemon to cast a spell of the seal again. But even then, the resources needed are long gone, and they can only be found in the depths of Pog Dust Cave now. Hello Kakawa, welcome, welcome. Among us? Among us? Among us? <gasps> oh my god! Among us, only you and I have extensive experience in World and Pokemon. The other two individuals who have started learning are still beginners. And I'm an old man already. And I wouldn't be able to go as much as I wanted. So that's why I've been making your training harder during these last days. <laughs> I mean, any sentence. Here's a tip for anyone writing dialogue for a Pokemon fan game. Whatever you do, avoid the sentence, or not even the sentence, the two words, among us, in combination. Because we've all seen what happened to Hollow Gap's game, Zoroark Among Us. That's, um, you can just read the comments on that thread. I know you can forgive, I hope you can forgive me for not telling you anything and then suddenly requesting you to go on this dangerous mission. But please, I'll go. Huh? Me and Litwick have been training and knowing each other better for a while now. I'm sure we'll be able to do it. We will find the materials for the spell and return safe and sound. So it is decided. You know where Pogdust Cave is. But please, take care and you and Litwick. Do this and we might be able to prove to other people in the village that Pokemon aren't scary creatures. I kind of, um... This game is like, again, we're hardly into the game, so I shouldn't comment too quickly. But like, this game seems really good so far. <laughs> it's given me the feeling that this is going to be just a really good Pokemon game. Wait a second. I don't know what this crazy thing is, but Mentor Kai says it will revolutionize the world. 
I like how it displays this funny rat on the screen. Hmm. Like, Octavius? Genuinely. <laughs> I don't know, the atmosphere of Gen 2 games, if done right, just like, it hits different. The word pyramid. <laughs> True. I don't have a region map or anything, do I? I don't have car. Oh, then we can burn it. Oh, that's actually such a nice detail. Instead of using cut, you just have Litwick use burn. Litwick, use ember. Yum, yum, yum. Litwick destroyed the tree. Good on you, Litwick. Get out, Pog Dust Cave. The rock contained the ceiling spell. It appears to be reacting to Litwick's ghostly powers. Litwick uses its powers to break the seal. That was a nice animation. This is what I mean, like, they did not need to put in that nice animation for breaking the seal, but they did. This game, it seems good. <laughs> like, really good so far. Well, here we are, Litwick. At least we can leave whenever we want. Oh, well, great news. Now we are stuck. Well, don't worry, I'm pretty sure we will be able to find a way out anyway. Um, looks at, look at all those rails. It looks like they used to be a mine. Let's explore a bit. Minecraft. It's a minecart, there's a button inside. Oh my god! What? Are we gonna jump? Huh. This is such a cool puzzle mechanic. There's a button here. Press it. So did the railway change now? So... It... No, it didn't. Oh wait, it did, it did, it did. Get me back in there, get me back in there, one more ride. No, I think this is how it's supposed to work. And now that ride has changed, and so now we can go up the hill. This is really cool. Oh, but I've, I've screwed up slightly. Can I just walk over to it, or no? I can't. So I need to walk over here, press this, Oh, how cool. Then we hop back in and we can go straight on past to where we need to go. Oh, Pog. The tiles do change slightly. It's hard to show, but like they just slightly. Hey, before I take the minecart, what's downstairs? Never mind, I don't want to go downstairs, it's too dark. Can I by any chance light this pot on fire? I can. Oh, that. So I wonder what lighting that flame on fire did. Or is it just like a hint that if I find something similar down here... I can light it? Oh, I still can't see. A button, okay, I'll press a button. What is that? Oh golly gosh, uh, another button, okay. Let's just press all the buttons. Another fire. Like maybe if I light all of the fire pots, this floor will become visible. Another button. I already pressed it. Okay. Where did I come from? <laughs> what? Um. Down. Another fire pot. Here we go, you're lighting up the cave. I'm like, what, like five minutes into the game and it already is like showing so many neat little puzzle mechanics that I expect from like a Zelda game. I think Kenny made a good recommendation. So now I can leave because I believe I've done all the button switches needed.
Yeah, he doesn't hate it. Absorb the flame. Lily got stronger. Wait, what? They're doing Pokemon evolution, but like in the overworld. With the correct music, with like the nice flashing effects. That's too good. Who made this game? Have they made a game before? Rico Rick. They said they've made one Pokemon fan game, but I think they're talking about a different Pokemon fan game. They made Deserted. About a year ago. Maybe I should play it. <laughs> it seems really nice. I'm... I'm liking it. So what, what move did we get there? We got Ominous Wind, Ember, and Astonish. A flame body. Okay, well come on, Lampet. Let's get going. Let's light some pots, because it's always fun to do that. Yeah, I, I took a brief look at it and I just ran. And on the features list, it also mentioned like incorporating some... Um... Huh. Incorporating some puzzles into it. Something in the previous room. Uh oh, something happened. Um, what is that? A seal and tag appear on the wall. Remove it? Since when has re removing a seal and tag ever been a good idea? But okay. There's a Pokemon cry there, but I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> What? Hello! You absorbed Chuck. Now you have a dedicated Poggers button. Press shift to Pog as much as you want. That's not Poggin', that's farting. Oh, I also Pog. I keep on getting sticky keys because of this. Ah. Uh, well, that's something. Progress. Did that by any chance fix what I needed to do? Or is there more to do? I accidentally talked to my lampet. Okay, so I, there's still something I need to do in my previous room. Huh. I guess I missed one of the buttons? Because if I'm correct, it didn't let me press the buttons multiple times. It would only ever let me press them once. Right? Yeah, you already pressed it. Okay. So somewhere there's a button that I've missed. Probably over to the left here, right? Because. I went down, I didn't really go up and around. What is that? Oh, it's a Durant! It reminds me of those weird, like, bugs in Stardew Valley that if you take too long to kill them, they turn into a, um, an annoying flying bug. But it is just a Durant. Now I'm a lamp it, baby, so get down. Yeah, like, it's very cool, right? It's very, like, um... Very cinematic, very focused as well, the game. Okay, all buttons very fast. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm not just, like, wandering around a route, battling random trainers. You know, killing 20 minutes, getting through this route with these trainers, to then, like do a gym, I'm actually 
constantly progressing and having new mechanics get implemented and new stuff happen. I don't know, it's, it's really cool. Prepare yourself, Lambert. This will be a crazy ride. Oh no, what's going on? Oh my god. Can we even go back? <laughs> yeah, we can't do that gap again. Okay, well, we're stranded on this side of the cave. Hopefully nothing bad happens. It's a rock seal invention, so it appears to be reacting to the Lick's ghostly powers. Yeah, opening up, I mean, ah, oh, this is like a horrible idea, nothing happened. Do I need to take off the cleanse tags first? This feels so ominous! Like, having to manually click on each tag to remove it before I'm able to unleash the cave. Oh my god. This Pokemon, Mischievous, was trapped inside the tags. It was being used as a power source for the tags. It's furious and confused, it will attack! Okay, Mr. Viz, bring it on. Ghost is super effective against Ghost. Psychic, not so much. The spirit of Mischievous has disappeared. It feels like it was not an evil Pokemon, it's just really confused. I get that feeling. When someone wakes me up when I'm having a nap, I'm like, oh, and I might get a bit angry, but you know, I'm just confused. I'm not actually angry, right? So now we can take down the rock. The seal is now broken. What the hell? What was behind the wall was actually a bunch of ice? That was super scary, wasn't it, Lampert? How is there so much ice in this cave? At least I have you to help keep me warm. So I can't even light the flame pots anymore because it's all frozen over. Oh no, ice puzzles. At least we seem pretty tame so far. I don't know where these tiles are from. I don't think they're default essentials, are they? These icy rocks here that are like too wide. They look very cool. I can't do anything about the rock that, so we go under. There's a button. Something happened. Is the rock now gone if I... Backtrace? It is, okay. I'm glad that the elders who set up this cave secret are good at their engineering degree. Okay, am I correct in thinking that I need to step on every tile once and that ladder is there to reset when I make a mistake like that? <laughs> okay. Ta-da! I remember watching Fundigus tutorial on how to make these puzzles. Because I was looking up how to do ice puzzles once. Okay, um, that's not supposed to happen. That's better. <laughs> Thank God. This is the cleanse tag? Okay. Are oh, we going to have to fight another Mischievous? You can't pull them off so easily. Find a way to weaken them, protecting... Both of them are like that, right? Find a way to weaken the spell. Is it by breaking the ice? <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, so I can remove this one, and I think if I remove all the ones on this floor below, 
I'll be able to take off the ones on the top floor. Get a bit of ice to get this one. I'm just imagining all these old guys going around the ice, sliding around, being like, don't worry, Jimmy, I got one placed here. Yeah, don't worry, Timmy, I got one over here. Set up this lovely little cave. Is that all of them? Probably not. I know it will tell me when there's all of them because it told me all the other thing. I remember watching Fundigo wanting to make a Pokemon game, but I was dumb, Polish kids, I didn't understand what's going on. I understood the visuals, I guess. <laughs> Real homies know the atomic reactor tutorials. Not really, I mean, it doesn't really matter where you learn how to make a fan game. But yeah, for me, when I was learning, the only tutorials were um, atomic reactors. And yeah. And now I've gotten to slightly help him make Pokemon Infinity. I say slightly help him. I didn't really do much. I did like some bug fixing. <laughs> but I'm glad I at least got to help him with his project. It's an honor. And that looks like would be the last one. No? Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. When you remove the tags, you also feed Pillow Swine as its soul is being used as a source of power for the tags. It's not angry, though. It's offering you its help. However, as a spirit, its powers are now more limited. Poggers. What happens if I say Poggers? Okay, Poggers is another way of saying yes, I guess. <laughs> Okay, Pillow Swine's kind of chilling, floating above my head. I imagine we'll fix when we change map. I didn't get Pillow Swine. It did say its powers were limited. I wonder if that means that's going to like break through the rock or something? No, Lampet's doing the rock. A magical ice truck just blocking your way. Lampet's flame won't be able to destroy it. Maybe Pillow Swine can absorb it. Call for help. Ah, oh, that's pretty neat. We're unlocking more abilities. Call for help. Oh no. A frost lass here to take my soul, I guess. Huh. I mean, I think we'll be fine. Ominous wind. Double team. That's frustrating. It was an illusion trick. Maybe that frost last is the reason why this part of cave is covered in ice. I'll be seven or eight when Thunder releases his first video. Wow. <laughs> wow. What year was that? Roughly. You don't need to reveal your age to the public. Oh god, this is getting intimidating. 14, so 7, or 8, so Fundigo released his first video, what, like 7 years ago? Wow. Time flies by. Okay, ooh. Thank God for Flame Body. Do I have any items I can use? No. Yeah, just gonna have to hope we get lucky here. Okay, use Leo, we did get lucky. Look at that, beautiful XP. Another illusion, this is starting to get annoying. 
Well, I think it's starting to get scary, not annoying. 2016-2017. Damn. This looks like the Froth Last Den. She's not here right now, so I think it's safe to explore. But let's be careful. Yeah, let's be careful. The frozen statue looks like it was made by Frostlass. Now, do we think that's actually a statue, or do we think that's someone that Frostlass froze <laughs> and turned into a statue? That's a Pogbay tree. It looks like what I saw in the books that I read at the dojo, but it's frozen. It looks to be the same ice covering the cave. We need to stop that Frostlass. One final Frostlass fight. Level 50. Huh? <laughs> um, is this the game's way of telling me that this is a scripted loss? Because that's not a lot of damage. I mean, if we get lucky enough with the moves it cho chooses to use. I don't have Will-O-Wisp, do I? Will-O-Wisp and then Hex would be nice. So maybe I'll just Ember him and Hex. Well, I'm dead. I don't think I was supposed to win that. You lost your battle against Frostlass. Your Pokemon has tried its best, but Frostlass is too strong. It's the end for you. Am I about to get turned into a statue? Yep. Pillis Wine appeared again! You really just gonna leave these two guys to die for Pillis Wine? It's it's you! The Pillar Swine Spirit, thank you for helping us, but we need to hurry and find a way out of here. That Frostlass is extremely powerful. If it finds us, we will be doomed for sure. Lampet absorbed the Pillar Swine. That's not really fair. Oh, but now... Wait, wait. Lampet, you can't just use another Pokemon to evolve. That poor Pillar Swine! <laughs> Maybe you're strong enough to take down the the frost last now. These poor guys, yeah, the pillow swine just did not care. I guess maybe they treated pillow swine badly in the past or something. That's my head cannon. Okay, let's see. Still level fifty, but we've got a chandelier now. Level forty five, we have Will O' Wisp, I reckon we go for Will O' Wisp and then Hex. And we should be Pogavino. Confused Ray, not so Pogavino. But we're okay, surely that's like a one hit. You beauty, you beauty. Take that, Chandler. You defeated Frostlap. Oh, uh, not GG apparently. It's like some weird like shadow Frostlass with red eyes. Well, let's try that again. But it is level 60. Okay, use Hail, yeah, as long as it doesn't use any ghost type moves. We can win! We did it! We defeated Vapfoss! Oh no. Now that Vapfoss is gone, her ice magic is not affecting the cave anymore. The structure was probably damaged by the ice and it won't support staying stable without her magic. We need to get out of here. Now! Bye bye to us as well, not just for Frostlass. What the hell are we supposed to do, Chandler? What should we do? There's nowhere to go. We're trapped! Unless this hole looks deep, but will we survive? You're right. I guess it doesn't matter since we might die here anyway. Well, let's go. Huh? We're back? Well, I think it's also just, like, um, because the problem with that fight, I guess, is that it probably depended a lot on luck on whether you win or not. So they didn't want it to be too hard, because if you just got unlucky, then it might have been pretty hard to beat. Let's go get out of here. So I'm pretty all right with that. Oh my god, what the hell, this is so cool. The rocks have fallen behind us. That's the rock blocking the way. Our fire's not capable of destroying it. If only we had a pillow swine chandelier. If we didn't suck up that pillow swine, we'd be able to get out of here. What? Oh, you spat him out. 
<laughs> you separated? Are you gonna help us? Pillow's fine, and don't do it. The moment you help, that Lampet is sucking you back up. Or not. The cave entrance is blocked now. Pillow's fine has appeared again. Thank you so much. If it wasn't for you, it would be dead by now. Lampet, don't you dare suck up that pillow's fine. Let it be. Of course we will do this for you. Hmm? Let's visit our... Oh! Isn't that so cool the way the... Like, NPCs turn to see you return from a cave? Because they're like, wait a second. She's back from that haunted cave. Oh! We're sending Pillow's Fine off into the afterlife. Unlike other Pokemon, when Pillow's Fine was absorbed by Lampet, its soul served as fuel for Chandler's flames. This made it impossible for Sh Pillow's Fine to rest on its own. Chandler's flames are very dangerous, and if a spirit is caught and burnt in them, it will be fated to wander the world forever. But now Pillow's Fine can finally rest in peace. Lampet just did not think about that at all when it sucked up Pillow's Fine. It was like, I'm just taking it in. I don't care if Pillow's Fine has to wander the afterlife forever. Did Pillow's Fine leave something for us? A Pogberry! Come on, Lampet, let's talk with Mentor Kai. He's probably worried about us. That was so nice! I'm gonna have to send the dev a message, because that was like... I really enjoyed that. Oh... Let's turn it up. The end. A few days later. The place, the seals were placed. This will help with the main sealing spell. Now, you feed Lampet for Pogberry. Oh god, what's gonna happen? I can't see feeding Lampet for Pogberry doing something good. You just need to cast the spell with Lampet and everything will be fixed. Is it gonna be like a... A loop scenario, like, um, Lamp, it's gonna eat the Pogberry and then turn into an evil Chandler and essentially do what the Frostlass did in the cave. Let's find out. I know, but why are we still still in the cave even though that Frostlass is not around anymore? There are many books that tell us about that Pokemon wild behavior. It is a vengeful spirit, and even though you have defeated it, it is still in this cave, and once it returns, well, who knows what that Pokemon can do against us. It is an evil force, it's not like the others. I think you're right. Well, let's do this, Lampet. The cave was sealed by a strong spell. And just like that, our work here is done. Let's go back to the village for now, okay? Oh, how nice. So I think that's actually the end. We can now battle new trainers at the dojo, I guess it's not the end. Post game? Yes, please. <laughs> Ah, oh, you want to battle me? Okay, let's do this. Get ready. Pokemon go to Helen. A spot. I wonder if it is like a based off anyone in real life or what? Um. So you're poison type, right? What do we do against poison type? We don't really have anything. I got poisoned, and I missed will -O wisp Oh god, we're off to a bad start. It used Protect. I don't think we're beating him this far. Not on this attempt, at least. I think I needed to get off will -O wisp
Okay, well, we can try that again. <laughs> this might be a bit tougher. Hmm, you lost this one, but don't worry, come back when you feel prepared. Well, it's not like I can grind, can I? Wanna battle me? Okay, let's do this. So who are you? Pokemon Wilder and Nick. Shuckle. Okay, let's try the Will-O-Wisp again. Okay, we landed it. Now hopefully we can hex. Oh, this might be a long battle. Now, I'm not already losing. Calm down. I'm already winning, actually. Octavius, you're just a hater today, aren't you? Ah, uh, take it home with Shadow Ball. There we go. One, one against Nick quite easily. Helen was a bit more of a trouble. Yeah, we are healed up. Can we battle the big dude himself with the Pikachu? Okay, no, we can't battle him. So what's left to beat is not that on. <laughs> um, Helen. Does protect protect you from Will O Wisp? Apparently. Okay, they didn't get poison off this time, which is good. I think we have a chance here now. Amnesia is slightly annoying, but as long as they don't poison me. Because even when they protect, they will be taking burn damage. Okay, another chance we will get poisoned here. No, we're still safe. Cool. Oh, this is cutting it close now. We just need to survive one more turn. Which we barely do on 4 HP, but we're poisoned. Do we take the poison damage or do we win? We win! I'm working really hard, but you're working harder, apparently. Well, there we go. I think that's all the post-game trainers we can do. I'll take one final look around town. See if there's anything of note. But, um... That was really cool. I enjoyed that game a lot. Hello, Geodude. So, I will go back and talk to Voltman just in case, but because of what we did to show that Pokemon are like decent, the town has even changed a little bit and now this dude is using a Geodude to help on his farm. Such like a nice, completely unneeded detail, but it adds to the game so much. Pog Pasture, your Pokemon is so cool. And you too, of course, Tiki. I like that Onyx. I can't remember, did this person... Yeah, this person used to have a bird, I remember that. But there was a dude in one of the houses who was like, Pokemon are evil. Has he changed his mind, or...? I've seen first... Okay, he's still... Oh, he has changed his mind a little bit. That's so cool. Well, that's the nurse Pog is. That's quite interesting. Oh, what a beautiful game. If we go back to the cave, does anything bad happen? Hopefully not. <laughs> Can we take off the seals? No, you can't be evil. Guess visit Master Kai one last time. And see.
Oh, yeah, that's the same. But yeah, okay, I'll end this stream there and I'll end this game here. That was a... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you defeated them already. Then why not a battle between you and me? Oh yeah, we do have one last battle. I hope you're ready. So is he still going to have Pikachu or is it going to be... Still Pikachu. But level 30, not level 5. Let's just go with our... You know, Substitute. You can't even Will-O-Whisper Substitute, can you? Light screen is setting up well. You see he has a massive head. <laughs> Electro Ball. Okay, will wisp off. Good, good, good. Get Hexen. You beauty. One more turn. I love you, Lampet. That's just um what happens with substitute. Oh, he has two Pokemon. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. This suddenly got a lot harder. I'll try again. In that case, I think I need to beat the Pikachu ASAP. So I'm just going to spam Shadow Ball and see what happens. Let's see if a trainer. His head's a bit weird, but that's just normal Gen 2. Okay. What actually has more power? Flamethrow or Shadow Ball or are they absolutely the same? 80. Flamethrow is 90 and may burn. Let's get Flamethrow in. Yeah, it does have a chance of lowering special defense, so, but I think um, I think burn would get us more damage than a lowered special defense would, and on top of that, burning would mean we take less damage, which would be very, very, very nice. Oh, do I want? No, I'm not gonna learn this. But we have to go with shadow ball on this guy. Rock Blast, GG. Rock Blast is going to be a one-hit KO even at max health. Okay, I don't think I can beat Kai, not in my current state. But that was very cool. Um, but yeah, I'll close up stream now. This has been Pokemon Phantom Slayer. Really cool game. Went in expecting nothing, was very, very, very surprised. I'm a big fan. Maybe it's a Gen 2 bias or something else? I don't know. But I love it. So thank you, Kenny, for the recommendation. <laughs> You've got good taste, apparently. Um, but yeah, I'll close up stream now. Say goodbye to my very dark face. And I'll be getting ready for dinner soon. So yeah, bye-bye. Let's do a long-headed bye-bye again. Don't let it exhaust damage from a single move. Right, right, I know what you mean, but yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.